Hello friends, it's Sue, your Not So Crafty Crafter. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well this morning. I am here to share a few goodies with you today. I like doing my Sunday morning videos. Everyone's downstairs, there's no noise. So, let's just jump right in. I made a few stops over the last two days. Uh, Friday night, we went to Ottumwa and I found a few things at Hobby Lobby. Um, I can't, I don't think anything was on clearance. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait till we get to that bag. Um, and then yesterday we went up to Des Moines and I went to Memory Mound, my favorite craft store. Um, found a Tuesday morning and I had Joann's and Michael's. So I didn't get anything at Joann's, but. I did get something at Michael's, and we'll jump right in here, and I'll share that. Um, we used to have, I, I say we, but, like, I'm including myself with the the, the uh, population of Ankeny, and I'm about 80 miles away from Ankeny, but um, <clears throat> there, is this, there was a Tuesday morning up there that even my husband loved going to. It was clean. It was well-organized. It was small, but it had everything we were always looking for, whether it be bedding or utensils or kitchen stuff or craft supplies. They had like an aisle and a half of craft stuff. So it, it was a good store and they closed it to open another one in Des Moines. It was, it's in West Des Moines or Clive or whatever the address is there. It's off of University Avenue, the big, lots of big strip malls on that, that area. Um, and I've gone once before when it first opened and I didn't like it. It was more like an Odd Lots, whereas the original one that we were going to was like a smaller version of a home goods store. It was a lot, like I said, cleaner was the big thing for me. Yesterday we went, my husband wanted to go to check it out. He found a few things, but I found nothing in the craft section. He actually is the one that found this. Um, it's okay. I just didn't... There was a lady putting stuff away, and honestly, she wasn't even trying to put like things with like things. She was just tossing stuff on shelves. And when you walk down an aisle, there's a whole bunch of this type of particular item. Let's say clear storage bins. Two aisles away, there's another little section of stuff just thrown in with the same type of item. Nothing is grouped together. It's like... A giant flea market inside and I'm not a flea market person nothing against those of you that love to scrounge for stuff I'm not a forager I'm not a hunter I want what I want where I want it where I can find it and that's that's just me and again I'm not saying there's anything wrong with any of that kind of stuff my mother and my husband when we lived in Florida there was a, a big Melbourne flea market on the weekends <clears throat> And my mother and my husband loved that place and would be there for hours just looking at all the different doodads and none of it ever appealed to me. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. I made a comment about there not being any noise, but one of my kitties is up here and he just got his head stuck in a box. Sorry. All right, let's jump in. Enough of my rant about Tuesday morning. Um, my husband did find a few things. He found a couple of stamps. Um... But they weren't to my liking. They were wood mount, which is nothing to do with anything. I have a brand new set of wood mount here I'll share with you. Um, but they weren't anything that I would do anything with. One was a nautical theme. It was a small set. And I don't really do nautical. I don't know. I just, I, I've never gotten into the mermaid themes and the waves and all of that stuff. And the other one was like a... A farmer's market theme type of thing only it had these tiny little wood stamps and they just said names of vegetables and I you know I looked at it, it was a nicer set and I just kept thinking I don't know what I can do with this I don't know what I can do with this whereas I look at something and I try to see you know of course the obvious but I also try to see what I can do outside of that and I'll share something that I found that I'll I'll explain why <clears throat> Anyway, he found this. It's a Studio Tidy. And I've seen lots of people um, haul these in the past. It's basically just a caddy. 
and you can put pencils or whatever. Now, if you watched last week's video, you know I bought two little, like, bowls. One is a kitty cat and one is a bucket with a scroll design. And I've already put pen specific types of pens in both of those. So, and my paintbrushes are in one of those stemless wine glasses. So, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Oh, no. Those... Uh, I was just thinking, I've got my, I found this at Dollar Tree, and I thought, well, maybe I'll put, you see that, I'll put these in that black thing, but the squares don't seem to be big enough, so we'll see. All right, my desk, if you could see my work area, oh my gosh. Next up, Michael's. <clears throat> I went looking for some of the newer paper pads that have come out, but I wasn't seeing them in person. They just didn't trip my trigger. You know what I mean? But as I walked in the front door, I saw this end cap and it said recollection specialty cardstock, $5.99. Now this is what they were. It's these packets. They're sealed. They're not pads. It's individual papers, but you get five designs, five of each paper. <coughs> and this one, has two different sets of glitter paper. This is really pretty green and this really pretty pink. I'm going to do some Easter cards today. So this will get used today. But anyway, it has these five designs. It's got this pink glitter. It's got this um, like tropical vibe one here. This one has, it's just a solid green. This one, I don't know if you can see, it's also a tropical vibe, but it's tone on tone leaves on dark green. And then the green for six dollars i thought you know 12 by 12 paper i don't typically buy anymore because i have more than i will ever use in a lifetime but i will be cutting these into card base sizes and then they had this one they had like eight or ten different styles designs of these packets these are the only two that caught my eye they had some that were christmas some that were strawberries there there were there was a lot um this one same deal like this only has one glitter which is fine. It's that one. But even still, if you buy a 12 by 12 sheet of glitter, it's usually a little more than a dollar. So five sheets of white glitter and everything else was free. That's, you know, a good deal for me. The The main design is this. And then there's this pretty like mint green, a peachy orange, a pink polka dot and the glitter. And again, for $5.99, it's, it's not a horrible price. So I will be putting those in my 13 by 13 envelopes that I picked up from scrapbook.com. All right, next. I'm going to toss this in here. I did not buy this. I have a friend that used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and if I ever get around to doing a room tour, you'll see some of the things that I've gotten from her. Um, she did it more as a hobbyist, but she really gets into scrapbooking, and she sold a few things when she cleaned out her scrapbook room and I bought them. One is a huge ink holder that someone made for her with all the inks, all the Stampin' Up! inks. And another is a giant 8.5 by 11 floor to ceiling paper rack, which I put all of my 8.5 by 11 paper other than my copy paper in it. And that stays out here by my copier. Anyway, I went to check my school mailbox because I was expecting something from another building, and this was in there. And I knew immediately it was from my friend Ange. Um, it's just, a, it apparently is a hostess set. But, yeah, hostess. It's called Perfectly You. I love this big case. Um, but it's got six stamps, and it's kind of a mix. There's a happy birthday, a happy Valentine's, a Merry Christmas, a Halloween, and then just two little everyday sentiment stamps so really love this and it was such a sweet gift and I even offered to pay her for it and she's like no it's a gift from a friend so and they're decent sized stamps and this is another thing someone um a friend's mother-in-law uh, um passed and she was a huge scrap stamping up user and I got like 80 sets of wood mount stamps that I use so I'll just add that to my collection all right I'm gonna put this over here because I've used it and it needs to go 
over there on that side of the moon because that's where my wood moss stamps are. We went to Target. Sorry, there's lots of bits and bobs here. We went to Target and I found these clear little trays. Um, don't ask me what I'm going to do with them because I don't have a plan yet. But they're, I'm thinking drawer dividers for my stationary stuff. There's a longer section and then little smaller sections. And I think I figure I can probably fit two in my drawers that I have over on my desk with my um, planner stuff. They were marked down to 50 cents. So I grabbed four of them. Again, not sure what the plan is. Just got a little idea. So that was a good steal. <clears throat> then memory bound. I love my store. I do. I love memory bound. And I spend way too much money when I go there. But they do have a rewards program of perks. With every 200 you spend, you get $10. And I bought a magazine there last time I went up and I had a $5 gift card to use. Um, so, um, yeah, I use that. Okay, there's a lot of dyes in here and I apologize. I didn't, I got home late last night and I wasn't feeling great because, you know, when you go out, you overindulge in the foods. So I went ahead and just went to bed. <laughs> um, these are what I went up for. These are from the Tim Holtz Sizzix Chapter 2 collection that he brought out last week. Now, I um, sent a Facebook message up to the store and asked if they had these in stock, and they said, yes, they did. And when I went into the store, that's the first display I usually go to is check out the Tim Holtz stuff to see what they have that's new, and they weren't up. So I went over to the checkouts with my empty little basket, and one of the ladies was walking around to go behind the checkout since like you're in the checkout line, but you don't have anything. Do you have a question? <laughs> she was really sweet. I said, I do. And I told her, you know, I explained that I had sent a message up and she said, yeah, I have them. They're in the back room. I've got them all laid out. We're just trying to find a place for them. I said, any chance I can snag a few? She said, come with me. And she was very, very sweet. And these were all laid out. So I got the artsy stems which I just love those they're so whimsical and so cute I just really love those and the way that he has them here in rainbow order absolutely love them then I got this one now I grabbed this because it was not a colorize I like the idea of colorize I don't like all the teeny tiny pieces parts this has four dies this is the brush stroke flowers number four so that's really pretty and I'm thinking one of these papers I'm about to show you is going to do a fabulous job with those and then I wanted this now I liked the first one but it was too set in stone for me is that the word I'm looking for because it was very specific sentiments like birthday type of thing this is more of a thinking of you love you type of thing inspirational so I will use these more than anything so and um, those were pricey but yeah, and I do store these in these envelopes. That's why I love buying these things from Sizzix because the envelopes. Yeah, you pay a little bit more, but you've got your built-in storage. So there's those. And those go on that side of the room. <clears throat> then I found this stencil. I was looking for layering stencils, but none of the ones I had really jumped out at me. This is just a basic palm frond, and I'm thinking it matches the palm frond on these papers. We will see. We may play with that today. And it's just a four by, or it's a, a slim line or a mini slim line design. That's the other thing I was looking for, a slim line envelope maker, but they didn't have any. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Then I've got these two dies. This one is a happy Easter die. I have, the only thing I have that's Easter themed is faith-based. Um, I don't have anything that actually says Happy Easter. I have one stamp, and it was probably one of the first stamps I ever bought, and it's not cut very well, and it's very thin, scripty. When I ink it, the whole area around it gets ink, and it's not an easy stamp to work with. So I just bought this die. This was only like eight fifty. So I grabbed an Easter die, and then I grabbed, I wanted something Easter themed. Again, a lot of what I have is, I can do florals. And they say rejoice or faith on them. But I wanted something 
specific. And I found this. And this wasn't actually that expensive. It was $15.99. It's by Elizabeth Crafts. <clears throat> and it's a giant basket. I mean, it's a good size basket. And I'm thinking, okay, yes, she's got the little bunny and the Easter eggs in there, which are part of this, but she's also got the leaves and the flowers. Plus, with all my floral stamps and dyes, this can be a picnic basket. This can be a shower card with little baby items in it. You know, I've got a couple of little baby stamps. So, yeah, I had to have that. So, and I, I wanted, this is the one I wanted to cut out the most to share with you, but I never got around it. Maybe I'll do that today and I'll do another video and I'll just share the dyes that I bought. Then I found this, Tim Holtz Ideology. And this is the craft stock metallic colors. Um, there's two sheets of each. So there's 24 sheets. There's 12 colors. This side seems to show a better version of them. There's like three or four blues, greens, purples, and like red colors, rose gold there. And I have the gold and silver metallic in the bigger size, and I love it. But this is six by nine and a half. So if I cut this down the middle, it's going to be six by four and a half. So I won't use... I could use it as a base. I could probably even fold it and make a card with it. Four and a half by six card. A little bit bigger, but it'll fit in a five by seven envelope. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Make a craft card, because it's craft on the back. And when you open it, it's this beautiful metallic inside. I like that. We'll see about that. We will check that bad boy out. Then I found this. I love the Sizzix specialty papers. I have, if you go back and watch some of my older haul videos from a year or two ago, I have the rose gold, the silver, and the ivory. And this was different. Um, it's specialty paper, but it's specific colors. It's three color groups. It's rose, eucalyptus, which is a greenish, tealish color, and French navy, which is definitely a navy blue. And you get a lot. There's like 60 sheets in here, but it's thick paper. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10 sections, so 10 of each. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it's thick paper. It's really nice to work with when die cutting. And it's got a shimmer paper and a, almost like a glitter paper. So, yeah. And these are perfect spring colors especially these two and this one this I will use I mean I will use it all year round but I just love this paper and I saw it sitting there and I saw the price and it's like oh, no I don't know maybe I don't want to I don't know and then I thought well wait a minute I have a budget I know what my budget is and I also have $15 in cash to spend from them that they've given me so it ended up costing me seven bucks. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this video is gonna be, uh, yeah, just, it's not one of my best, I apologize. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I did this for you before even having coffee. Oh, the sacrifices we make. Oh, and there's my camera. I did go to Hobby Lobby this week. I think I went Friday night. We went out to get dinner um, and I found a light up board, a letter board. It's huge. It's not going to fit in screen. It's a light up LED photo clip letter board. So basically it comes with clips that slide inside the slots for the letters and you can hang stuff on them. And it was $9.99. So I've been wanting a letter board for my craft room. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. I haven't even opened it yet. So we'll see what that's all about. I'm actually in the process. If you could see, like I said, my work area right now, it's just piled. I'm going through and I'm trying to purge. Oh, it's so hard. And I'm trying to reorganize because I have these two trolleys behind me, like the Rascog card type of trolleys. Um, but I don't like where they are and I need to find another place for them, but I don't know where to put them. And they hold my stamps and dies and my paper, my card stocks for card bases and my envelopes and I I like having them right here but 
it's a bit much and they don't fit under my tables because my tables are shorter um okay hobby lobby yes I, there is clearance items in here i apologize um not a lot kind of just went perusing i was looking for something specific i found what i wanted but then i kind of went screws <laughs> around i found these were in the fashion tidbits like where the canvas bags and t-shirts and stuff are for the the um the puffy paints and all that kind of stuff and then the t-shirts and stuff you use for your iron on <coughs> i don't put elastic bands in my hair i mean i use these but they're protected or i use <coughs> excuse me the new coils when i had covid one of my <coughs> after effects and by the grace of god it's the only after effect is hair loss. Now, I've been taking collagen for the last two months and I'm not showing a lot of regrowth, but the shedding has stopped. So I'm good with that. And I don't have, you know, big massive bald spots. I just notice my hair's a lot thinner than it used to be and it was never very thick to begin with. So anyway, I found these. I love these colors for spring. I like this one and it's silver. And then this one is cream and white. My husband liked this one. So I got that and that, but I like these because they protect your hair a little bit more. And then I found these. Um, Vagabond Crafter had done her haul recently, and these were one of the things she grabbed. I wasn't looking for them, but they were across the aisle from the, the hair thingies. So I grabbed them, 24 cents for a red pencil. I don't use red a lot. I do use it in my journals. So, oh. My tray, all my glitters are falling on my tray. All right, and then I found these. Vagabond Crafter also hauled these. They were not on clearance, but they were on sale. So I got the both of them for $5. They're faceted glass stones. And the idea she gave me, and she may have mentioned it, I'm not sure. Shakers. Oh my gosh, put just two or three, you know, a little scoop in with the rest of your whatever shaker bits you're using i use sequins or tiny 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 seed beads these will just add so much sparkle so gorgeous so gorgeous so and those were on sale and then last <clears throat> two little paper pads um one i already have um i don't know where i it's up in my, is it up in my thingy or is it right here? It's right, it's right here. I already did the flip through of this. This is just really pretty. And I've used several sheets of this on cars and I thought, okay, that's going to be a go-to. So I bought a second one because they were 50% off. And then I bought this one. This one is a little bit different. This is Distressed Florals. Um, and in here, there's only one that I don't really care for. But I'll figure something out for it. So there's three of each. And there's how many? 20 designs. So there's 60 sheets in here. Yeah. But I'll go through real quick. And it definitely is. It says distressed. But it's definitely faded. And I like the, the muted tones on these. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Kind of scrolls. There's. There's a lot going on. If you really look deep, there's music notes, there's some writing, there's the scrolls, but it's just, I just, I fell in love with the colors. I mean, I can even easily do something like this on a card base with the Happy Easter on it in that teal paper. Oh my, so pretty. Another one. This is another brick. Yeah. These pretty muted blues. These pretty rose tones. That's really pretty. That's really pretty too. That actually is a map. This is the one that I'm not loving. I don't know why. Maybe just because it's stamped over. It looks like it's stamped over. You know what I mean? It's not. I don't know. 
It's not my favorite, but I'll use it for something. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I like these panels with the florals on them. That's pretty. It looks like letters, like mail. That's really pretty. I'm just going to look up. Can you guys see these? Really pretty paper pads in that one. And I think there's one, one or two more. That's really pretty. And that one with the butterflies on it. And that's it. So actually, I'm going to keep that out because I'm going to make some stuff with that. But that's all I have for you for today, folks. Sorry, it was a lot. And I've rambled, and I apologize for that. I know not everyone likes to hear the stories. Um, <clears throat> so I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. The weather is finally taking a turn for the better here. It was high 50s yesterday. It's going to be like 68, 69 today, and maybe tomorrow, and then it's going to go back to raining and being cold again. So I'm going to enjoy the nice weather while I can, and I hope you all do the same. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.